We are back over here at the antique mall, but this time we're in my booth. There's a lot of activity in here today, a lot of dealers in the mall moving stuff around, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to do, I, I don't know if I could call it a full reset, a spring fluff. I'm not 100% on what I want to do quite yet, but I do know for a fact that I want to break down this kind of center island that I have that we use a little bit over Vlogmas and then we also use for the Valentine's Day display. There's a strip screw in one of these doors that's connected into the table that I am not able to get out myself. Mike's coming in to help me break it down and then we're also going to move over and lower the chandelier. I'm kind of considering putting those doors up against the wall to just create a, a white light space to put darker pieces up against. I saw these pictures on Pinterest. I just loved everything about them. I love the color. That's where I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I can put these white doors up against the wall just to have that little corner moment or a side on the wall. I don't know, something. I painted the walls in my booth, an urbane, <sighs> I hope that's how I pronounce it. I feel like I pronounce it differently every time. I really want to keep that color up, but man, guys, I am fighting, fighting this internal urge to <laughs> repaint the whole thing. Before Mike gets here, I need to break down the little Valentine's Day set. So it's stripped into this table? Yeah, look at my shims. Just gonna have you push on that while I undo the screw. Yeah. Okay. Or pull on this. <laughs> try to square it to try and get it out and then it just got worse. <laughs> Is that working? No. <laughs> Can we cut it? You were good to me, mint shims. Eat them. Is that a pheasant? Or is it a grouse? Arby's is popular. Did you go there? It, yeah. I realized I ate a sandwich at 9 o'clock. Don't take the shoes off before they walk on the roads. I am a, sh a socks on the <laughs> Get more shame. That's our issue. That's our, that was our issue last time. Mm -hmm. I couldn't lower it. Uh, all the shame, but I don't get the shame. I'm thinking the bottom of the chandelier is like right here. 18. Yeah. Where is the food? I'm 
Change it in this chain. So this chain. So we're gonna cut. Yeah. So if you wanna raise it. I'm gonna lift it. Yeah. And I'll pull it off. Wait, when I do that. Yes. Yes. Or you tell me when you see it cut on. On. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, these are nice. Okay. That is so funny you mentioned. I didn't realize, but yeah, it's the same stinking purse. Yep. I need to get home and do some pricing and just think about what I'm going to do next. The booth is just going to be chaotic until Saturday. All right, see you guys on Saturday. Now she sees me, she holds me.
the first thing that we need to do is take out some of this stuff that I think needs to go into storage for the time being. Doesn't mean it's not gonna come back in here at some point, it just means that it probably isn't going to work with this current set that I'm working on. Some of those pieces are those guys. Uh, anything left over that's Valentine's related and really that's just like a two or three things over here. I'm also gonna take out all those quilted pillows that I made like six months ago. I think maybe I've sold two, uh, maybe a little more, but not enough to where I feel like I should keep them in here. Maybe they'll go to the fall luckets, maybe I'll repurpose them into, I don't know, like stockings or something for Christmas. I then am going to go through the, the process of rearranging all the furniture. So I'm gonna put some music in my ears and just go to town. So originally I was gonna take all three of my smaller white doors that I have in here as like staging pieces. I was gonna do two on this back wall and then one on the other doors that I have there. And then I realized that my outlet box is also in that corner. So I'm not gonna get that clean 90 degree angle that I was looking for. I think I'm going to have to take that strategy and do it in that corner instead and just like flip the design. Another outlet box just barely making it so I can't put these two doors on the back wall. It's looking like I'm gonna need to put them on the side wall and then that'll leave room for me to just do that one door in the corner to make that, that 90 degrees. Man, these, they, they've given me... Uh, my camera died. So while my camera was dead and a battery was charging, I did a few things. The desk, my desk, that was up here at the front, I get to reclaim it and I moved that other door table that I have with the pin legs up to the front. It was back here, tucked behind this door. Uh, and that opened up space for me to play around in that area. I'm thinking I'm going to put that old cabinet piece that we picked up here at the factory back during Vlogmas back in that corner, but they are turning the lights out on me. So I need to go and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Today's priority, just getting furniture where it needs to be. I have everything in except for one little washstand. And if we still have time, then we're gonna start hanging stuff. The first thing that needs to happen is I need to get this table out of here and maybe it'll come back in in the future. It's a good table. I just think it's a very particular color and size, which makes it a little harder to sell. But I have stuff coming up here in the future that I need a big table for anyway, so I don't mind moving it out for the time being.
really gonna fit. Since the light is closer to this side, it actually really brightens up the inside. kind of what I'm trying to do here. Those two doors but like flat up against the wall and pushed together so it looks like just one solid white block. Um, and then the other door I'm thinking putting it here on this wall so we have like a little white corner I guess. I have this dresser over here that's a, a darker color, darker wood that I'm kind of, I think it would be okay up against this color. I'm just worried about it not standing out enough and I would kind of like it to sell. I just don't know if I like this one door here. I'm gonna shift it all down just a smidge. furniture roughly where I want it. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something about the tables that I have up here. My plan was to kind of slide the smaller table under the bigger table and I feel like I've tried this before and almost every time it doesn't work. I think my plan to fix this is gonna be real simple. I'm gonna go get little casters to put on this bigger table just to raise it up a little bit and that'll be perfect for me being able to slide a smaller one under. Second thing, I am now at a point where I can start hanging up the art, the pictures. It's very floral. I'm leaning into the spring. I'm leaning into color. Some of the pieces that I've brought in are pieces that I don't necessarily want to actually sell. I just think they would be amazing in this reset. So I have put, I don't want to sell it prices on them. But if they were to sell at that price, it's kind of like, okay. One of those pieces is this. At first glance, it looks like this amazing floral painting, but it's actually just a print on board. What I think makes this piece kind of more unique is the size. It, it's, it's a big piece. I've used it in the past as a background for flat lays on some of my Instagram posts. It's just good for, for taking pictures with. I think I wanna put this piece above the dresser that I brought in, up against the white doors. This, it's a piece of salvaged vinyl that was in the bottom of that old, I don't even know what to call it. I, I've called it several different things. Cabinet bottom, hutch bottom. This was sitting in the bottom of it, like a floor protector. While I was cleaning up that piece, I just had this sitting out in the garage and I was gonna throw it away. I actually really liked how it looked. How cool would it be if I just like put it up on the wall, kind of layer it between this piece that, and like, the table and then maybe like mirrors or pictures. It weirdly works with my wall color already. And we've kind of seen this design idea used in other places. I've definitely seen it on Pinterest pull out like a panel of wallpaper to give you an idea of what it looks like and they'll use that in a vignette just to give you a, a fuller idea of how things could look together. We're gonna see if we can get a, a similar feel that lived in really full layered feel.
they are getting ready to close down here. I wish I could have been able to figure out this situation as far as like hanging stuff. I unfortunately just spent way too much time putting together the rest of the wall spaces. I'm struggling with this a little bit. It's a little dark. I wish I had some more color. I might try to find some plates that I can put in like a little plate framer, right? That have like pink on them or some color and put them kind of in the more empty spots, like right here, up in that corner, maybe right here. I have a few more things to price tonight and I'll bring those in tomorrow. When we first get in here, I'll finish hanging stuff and then I can actually start like placing the smalls where I think they need to go. See y'all tomorrow. I think that's my last little furniture piece that I need to bring in. It's a little wash stand. It came to me uh, in really dirty condition and missing hardware. And then I had to like fix one of the casters. And I kind of like how it looks. It's got more of a, like a, a raw wood, very rustic look. So we're gonna see how that does. If it doesn't move over the next couple months at the price I have it at, then maybe we'll reassess how it currently looks. But I like it, I think it's cute. I just need to add a tag and it'll be ready to go. But I brought that in. I also stopped by the storage unit and picked out a few things just like that were on the surface of the chaos that is the storage unit, just like small things like glassware and pitchers. I totally forgot to go to Lowe's to get casters for this table. So I think I might redesign this near wall. I also wouldn't mind changing up that corner a little bit. On camera, it looks really busy. In person, it doesn't look that busy. Um, I love, I really love this, right? I really love that. I really love this. And I like this. I just, do I like it all together? I think so, I think I do. One thing I do know is that I need to move on. I got in here later today than I wanted. I didn't have everything that I, needed to make today really successful so i'm really gonna have to to crush it tomorrow well i 
think I could probably just hang stuff for days before I felt like I, I really, really liked it. But this ain't bad. We have already had a few sales for today. Am I even in focus? I feel like I'm not. Okay, so went to Lowe's yesterday and picked up a few things, picked up some casters, curtain rod that works perfectly with this tapestry. It was real cheap. I found it in the curtain section. Also picked up some plate hangers. I want to see what that looks like. I like it as an alternative wall decor thing, especially if they're cool plates. Like my brother found a really cool plate that had like a dragon on it recently. Here are the casters. These were literally the smallest ones available at my Lowe's. I'm hoping they fit. The legs on this thing are very narrow. I think they'll just barely work. I have this white shelf in my storage unit, but I'm wondering if it's too long for the three doors. If I had the fourth door on, I think it would be better, but I think it might be too long for the three. One of the things that sold was that pheasant sketch that I had up here, or it was a grouse, in the layered gallery wall, so I need to replace that piece with something. Maybe I'll grab another one of my military panoramics still struggling with this corner. I don't know what I'm doing. I just need to take a break from hanging things. I think I'm way overthinking it. I looked on Pinterest again last night because I was like, what is it about the lived in look? Like, how do you get that look other than <laughs> living in there and just adding your, your stuff over time? And I think it has a lot to do with layering. So I have some older photos as well that I might put up with just like a little push pin in different places. All right, so let's put this table on casters. Yes, it fits. This is a dummy board. It's a Bonnie Barrett Boardwalks original. I think they made these up until like 2003 or six, something like that. And it's on a little stand right there and it stands straight up. Now dummy boards were used back in the day to be put in front of a fireplace as like a decorative thing. And if you Google them, they're really pretty. Like if you can find an original, they're collectible. Along with these Boardwalk originals from the 90s, I've seen a lot of rabbit ones. I've seen a lot of Christmas ones, like Santa's, like big ones. I've seen a few floral ones, a few floral arrangements, but I did not find any that look quite like this. Boardwalk originals under the Bonnie Barrett name, but there were also other artists under her name. And each of these pieces is dated and then signed by the artist that either airbrushed them or hand painted them or a combination 
combination of both. This one was done by a Joe Bueller in 1993 and it works absolutely perfect with these two propped up geese. Those are not Boardwalk Originals, but they are hand painted and signed. This one actually has a signature right here and then this one has a number over here also on a leg and I'm selling them as a pair. I was not able to break them up. I, I felt too bad about doing it. But look how good all three of these pieces look together in this little spring arrangement. It's so cute. And if you guys watched my Luckets video last year, you would have remembered my faux irises that we found in Virginia Beach when we were thrifting out there. They did not sell last year, but what a perfect set to bring those in for. I don't know if I like them up here on the table. I'm questioning if I want them down here. Let's see what that looks like. Here, I'm gonna back you up. Ugh, I think we're okay. I think I like them better up on the table. And just try not to destroy everything. What about back here? really like how this little tablescape is coming. It's so cute. It's kind of that whimsical tea party feel that I was hoping for. It looks very lived in like I was hoping for. I stopped by my storage unit and I picked up that shelf I was talking about and I think it's gonna fit. Wow, that's not straight at all. <laughs> Thank you. 
they're getting ready to close. I'm going to take some pics just so I can look over it tonight. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. I've played around with this wall display for way too long. I do like how it looks. I love this layered look, but man, does it take a lot of finagling. Under the plate, the clock, and the, um, the thing, the rose, that thing. I've actually had to put another screw kind of as like a counterpoint to help balance it. Even though I have it hung up here, because this side is pressing against this frame. I needed something over here to give this side of this frame something to sit on so that it didn't fold in, if that makes sense, or fold out. To get this look, it takes a lot of work. I don't know how much of that I'll do in the future. Um, it's definitely much easier just to do a basic gallery wall versus a layered gallery wall. At this point, I really just need to work on getting this cabinet put together, that hutch put together, and then all the surfaces. And we really need to hustle. I haven't even touched the front, which is upsetting. <laughs> This swan. Oh, there's another one in here. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's huge, right? This canvas? That one's on board. The one that I think you're thinking of is on canvas. And yes, exactly back there. It is, yes. Yeah, that's like almost the it, same image. No, it is. The only thing I can think of is Maybe like... It's the same person. Same person. This was probably used as like a student piece or something.
got very close to being done with all this today but I'm gonna have to come in tomorrow morning and just do the final touches I need to hang up some art here on this door that I decided to end up keeping as an end cap I need to dress the mannequin in a new spring outfit and then I also need to just do something with the front I think I'm gonna use the tables that I have up there uh, to put clothing on just like pants and stuff it's just a, it's a lot of color for me and I'm really I'm trying to get used to it there's parts like there's different parts of it I love but like stepping back and looking at the whole thing I was really wanting it to be done today but it looks like it's gonna have to be uh, finished tomorrow morning Today is officially the last day that I'm working on this little reset. And all that's gonna be is hanging up a few things on this little end cap and situating the front with the clothes. That's it. I don't know why the last 10% is so tough for me to do, but it is.
feel the same as I did the other day. I like parts of it, but do I like it all together? I absolutely love this. I love the onyx goblets with the mix match plates, especially up against that dark wood, it just really pops. I also really like how this door wall came together with my chandelier right here. It's actually getting a lot of light and I really am happy that I hung up that tapestry. It just really pulls all of this together between this dark piece, this light piece, and then this, the pink in color. I, I really like it. And actually, I had this very similar setup on this door wall a couple of years ago. There's something about it. It kind of creates almost like this cozy nook feel. I'm also in love with this tablescape. The mixed matched plates along with the gold silverware, the little lobster crock and the placemats. I just think it's so sinking cute. Unfortunately, again, I think the front is a little bit of an afterthought. I'm actually considering moving the, the big doors forward a little more and making that space up there a little smaller just because I would like to be able to do bigger center islands this is probably about as big as I can get I can maybe go a little bigger before it gets uncomfortable to move through the booth around the center island any bigger than this and I feel like I'm crowding either one side or the other just a little too much and so I feel like if we move the doors out that way I can make that solely close with maybe like a little seating area or something up there maybe just a smaller table just for the center and then also I'll repaint I, I like this color and I might even repaint it this color just a new fresh coat but it is to the point where I've put a lot of screw holes in this wall and because there is kind of a plaster behind this paint that white is showing through and so it's kind of easy to see the holes you can see there's a there's a few right there you might have also noticed some candles laying around the booth, but we'll talk more about that later.